Hi there. I figured I could play some mini Metro. Do a bit of a daily stream of it because it has a daily challenge. Not that good yet. Plus, I'm playing it on a mouse. No, oh, on a trackpad. But I will be playing this at 1x speed. Nice little serene game to play. Something to just, just kind of chill. This game's a pretty good one. It's like if you took SimCity and just simplified it down to figuring out how the traffic needed to work. Boom, there you go. I will note that I have made a mistake. At least from the beginning there. Where I have these two circles on the same line. Since each of the shapes only needs to get to where that shape wants to go, you'll never have a circle at a station trying to get to another circle station. But hey, I'm learning. And if I take my time, I should be able to get to a thousand people. That's my only real goal here. for a carriage. I have two tunnels and no new carriages available for me to make. We extend this line up. We allow this puce color. able to make it to the uh, to the square certainly not the most efficient map design right now gotta admit looks like we're just avoiding this guy entirely there we go all right I think I have enough circles on the blue Let's go ahead and put one on the yellow. Oh. Sometimes you just need a nice simple game. Sit back and relax. That's what we have here. So I'm just adding another circle. So this kind of puce color. It's P E U C E. Go off on a limb here and say that my yellow train is gonna need the most attention. Usually when I'm doing this, I like to set up a good amount of circles. I think I'll soon do that here with the blue. We'll see which way my city expands a bit. Might need to do it with the puce. Maybe with the yellow. 
we'll see. Alright, new locomotive. And interchange or carriage. We'll save that interchange for later. to transport to any of the shapes that I currently have. That'll make a nice addition to the pews. If you can space out your shapes on the, on the rail, like evenly, so they go from circle, triangle, Square, triangle, circle. Then you can usually deal with only having one, maybe two trains on the track. But hey, what do I know? We'll see how far it can get. I mean, there's an entire industry being a televised, playing a being bad at, bad at video games. I'd like to support that industry. I will admit, this does seem pretty slow. Whenever you have it on the 1X. Not gonna lie, kinda boring. So the thing with your daily play here is that uh, your trains can't be moved around. I don't believe you can uh, move around tracks after you've put them there. Alright. We definitely want a new line. Let's kind of unlock uh, this pink here. Maybe that's a bit of a magenta. as ever. Alright. So we got our first chirp. It's from our puce line. Thinking it's about time to deploy that second train on that one. that time indeed. Ah, I always like when a new station gets added to the existing line. Makes my job easier. I don't have to plan for it. line that I can start. I think I want to do that. Blue line working as hard as ever. Let me 
we just put in that last line, so I think I'll take a carriage this time. As I kind of pointed out for the blue track, carriages are really good whenever you're able to develop a loop. I'm hoping to turn this pink one into a loop. But we'll see if my traffic down here is going to indicate me needing to do that. Alright. That's a good time to start. seems to have the tendency to pile up a bit. But that's fine, because they've got the extra carriage on there. If anything, you don't want to have too much coverage on your trails. Alright. So this will give the puce color an easy earlier triangle to stop at. And I might stretch yellow up there as well. But I don't believe that I can take yellow off of this. So we're just not going to do that for now. Hey, look at that. Over halfway to my goal of a thousand. It's already Saturday. Well, the pink tram appears to be doing exactly as it's supposed to, which that's good. Oh my. I got a new locomotive and an interchange. Like I was saying, I would have rather prefer to have a uh, uh, a tunnel however I think the interchange might be the way to go here now if you've noticed the square there has become a central hub as squares normally do because there are the rarest of the normally appearing shapes that appear on the board here. But I think I do want to add another one. I think the pink line. I think that's the way to go. Yes, especially with it just getting a little bit bigger. Now we have two carriages that we could add into any one of these. I'm liking blue. Blue is holding up. You go, blue. Alright. So, we'll take my Puce Trail group and put it right there. Blue's still holding up just fine. And what was our hub of central activity here is now being handled just great. This is really, really turning out pretty nice. So I'm going to attach both of these here in case those passengers want to go to a square or a triangle. Then they've got an easy shot. So 
So we've had some of our first chirps start popping up. Let's just say I think I'm going to need another line in a minute. But for now, that's going to take care of those guys quite handily. This one over here. You go, Orange. Nine hundred and fifty. And still doing pretty good. Here's another one up top. Which that's gonna add a little bit to the Pew's trail. Not too bad. Can I disconnect it from there? Yes I can. Right. However, since Puce is dealing with more rural ones now, I have a feeling it's going to necessitate having another carriage on that line. congested right now. As it is the longest, I can easily understand that. Alright, got a new locomotive. And we'll take the carriage, because we took the line last time, right?
looks like it might need the most help. So we're gonna go ahead and put another one on there. I said I was going to help out the pink line. Let's see if they can handle this. We have a new station pop up there. And a new one on the puce line. Almost didn't notice this. Hey, look, I've made it to about 1500. The score really starts to climb near the end of this game. at the same time we get more and more stations oh goodness nobody's chirping wow all right looking at the efficiency of the lines I'd say that uh, orange is probably going to be the next necessary one to get an upgrade second, yellow being a good third, that station troubles me a bit, but yes, definitely need a second train on that orange line. over. Alright. Well, seeing as how my goal was a thousand, I'd say I've done pretty good here. Sunday is all up. Alright. I was hoping for a new station, but I'll take a carriage. So, so we're going to toss one to the orange line, and we meant it. One of the reasons why I do this is because I've established the orange line as a bit of a backbone for traveling between these other lines. It can alleviate a lot of the internal pressure of traffic during the rush hours, and allow the other lines to be able to focus on their extremities that don't have quite as much traffic. Now I did figure that I would be safe with the pink line, if only because I have two trains on it. It's mostly rural. It appears that that is just about to be my downfall. Because everybody wants to get to the special places. So the diamond. And the pentagon. Alright. There we go. We got over 2,000. I'd say that's a pretty good number for me. Let's see. Where did we stack up? Uh, that's not what I expected at all. Do we have any daily stats for that? That wasn't too bad. I'm in the top 15%. There might not be that many players right now, but hey, some of them are pretty good. Alright, you take care. Have a great evening.